Well, I figure it's about time I can pull the phaser out and start wrenching on it because we had a fuel leakage issue last year somewhere in this general vicinity. Fuel leakage might only be one of our issues because there's this weird suspicious puddle right here where it was sitting all summer. Yep, two stroke oil, that's no good. So last year my oil tank was almost full, which means there's about $20 sitting on the floor in two stroke oil, so that kind of sucks. But if we look down here, you can see there's some shininess going on. It's not usually there. And uh, I just took the liberty of pulling these little boots up and around my tachometer cable. It's nice and wet. So that tells me there's a little seal in there probably that, you know, just went bad. So I guess we're going to be wrenching on that today, along with trying to locate the fuel leak. So I know that the leak is not in the tank or anywhere. It's somewhere out here. Uh, I do have new fuel lines and stuff. Those were put on like two years ago. So let's try and fire it up and we'll see where we can find it leaking from. That should be enough to just prime up the fuel system and the carbs and everything. So from the outlet down to the fuel pump, looking, I don't really see any wetness down there. From on top, I can kind of see some wetness if you can see the glare right there on that little support beam. So that tells me it's leaking somewhere in the carbs because there's no fuel, you know, up here. And if I take and feel down on this one, well, that one's completely dry. How about our right side? And, uh, oh, that one's got some fuel on it. So, either my bowl gasket is leaking just because it's dry, or it's possible the nut loosened up too. I was able to work my hand in there and actually turn the nut on the bottom of the bowl. So, that one should be an easy fix. However, I've never monkeyed around with an oil pump on a Yamaha, so we're going to have to see on that one. Let's get this secondary clutch off first so we can get a little better access in there. There, that's way better. Now we have easy access to take our tachometer drive out, and I'm just going to sneak a little wrench in here to tighten up that carburetor bowl. Now that I've got these two little bolts out, I'm just going to take and remove the drive cover. And we'll see there's a gasket under here. I've got a replacement for that. And then this is the seal that's actually leaking. What I'm going to do is just take a little flat screwdriver and pry that bad boy out of there. You might have to pound it in. I think that's what's going to have to happen. Oh, no, here it comes. Okay. And then I'm going to make sure I pay attention to which way it is. So we can see that the V side was down. So these are the part numbers for the two pieces that I got. That would be the oil seal, and this is the gasket. And to install our oil seal, I just have a little socket that fits around the same diameter as that. And I'm just going to take and press it on over that drive. So here we go. There's that. And we want to make sure it goes on really square. Just a couple light taps. Sorry if I'm jiggling you. I'm trying to do this really slow just to make sure that it goes in as square as possible. Okay. 
can, when it's down all the way, you should be able to hear the pitch change on the socket. Here we go. And now that it's seated, we should be all sealed up. Now I just have to take my new gasket on the drive unit, throw it back on there, and put my tack cable back on, and we should be good to go. So with that all buttoned up while I'm already here, I'm going to come over here and I took the bolt out of it. Uh, but this is the greasing port for the gear drive for your oil pump. So I'm just going to shoot a couple shots of grease in there and rotate my clutch and do it again. Just as some preventative maintenance. Well, now that we're all put back together, we can fire it up, check and see for any more leaks. And by the way, I tightened up that secondary bolt to 43 foot pounds just for when you're putting back together that makes it easier Well, I don't see any more leaking down on this bar like we had before. And if we look down at the oil pump, I don't feel like taking anything else apart. But that's one it'll take a little longer for me to notice, but it should be good as well. Well, that about does it for this video. I ran it around a little more and couldn't find any more leaks, so I think we did it. Uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to. Like, comment, and subscribe for more.